Hi there Aquarius, how are you? It's Manessa from The Inner Zero and I'm back again doing your end of September 2018 reading. So this is going to be from your 20 September until the 30 of September 2018. And as usual, this is going to be a relationship spread and you could always apply it with any who. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, um, crushes, exes, any who. Wow! I'm just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, okay? As promised. I think I only promised this in Aquarius reading though, that I'm going to be doing a mid-September reading, but I didn't get to because me, being a clumsy Sagittarian that I am, I managed to broke my rear view mirror in the left by crushing it in my own gate, in my own house. So yeah, need a few days to get it replaced, but now I'm back to do your end of September. Okay, your October reading is going to be uploaded next week. Anyway, I love your energy for the now and it's all in a preposition. Okay, you have the Wheel of the Year, you have the Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups, and then you have the Emperor. What's challenging you though, you have the Six of Wands, and you also have the Empress card. See how it is very, very different. I mean, your energy is Emperor, and your challenge is the Empress. I feel like there's like a conflicting of energy in here. I mean, in a relationship sense. Um, and it does, it's, it's not gender specific though. It doesn't matter if you're a female, you're dealing with a man. But there's always a masculine energy and there's always a feminine energy. And I feel like you guys right now are being very, very, mas are, are being very, very masculine. But the other party, although you're a woman, you're being very, very masculine. You're very, very much in control. You know exactly what you want and you're not afraid to communicate with, it, with this eight of wands in here. You feel like you have been quite understanding and tolerant and accommodating. You know, with this Queen of Cups, you were trying to understand their point of view. But I feel like, you know, with them, with whoever you're dealing with in the now, they see you as too, too kind of like bossy. So there's like a conflicting of energy in here. There's like a pride competition in here going on with the Six of Wands as your overall challenge as well. Okay, because the person that you're dealing with felt like they, they felt like you bruised their egos in some ways. Okay. I love your energy, especially with the Wheel of the Year here. It means that... During this 10 days, your love life is actually shining bright like a diamond because the Jupiter is at play. Things that are supposed to happen are going to happen. I mean, if it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. Be careful, you know, with the Empress card as your overall challenge, you could also be dealing with someone who is manipulative in this way. <clears throat> the Empress is always like the center of your universe, okay? They try to nurture, they try to care for you. Uh, up to the point where you get to be dependent on that uh, type of service that they're doing to you. But the thing is that the Empress, as a challenge, sometimes as a form of punishment, they know exactly what you depend on them on and they, they will pull it back as a form of punish, punishment. So be careful about that. You know what? In the past, there's someone here with the Four of Swords in reverse. There's someone here who cannot stop thinking about you. I mean, they tried to, but they couldn't. They try to not give you a, um, you know, they try not to give you like a time of the day. They're trying to not even think about you, and but they're like they couldn't. And you guys also kind of like felt like an emotional void when they were gone. I feel like they try to cut it off with you. They try to be like, no, I don't want you. I don't want to think about you anymore, and blah 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 blah. But then yet they're still thinking heavily of you. And then you guys have the ten of pentacles, so you felt like the relationship with them is not stable because there is no collective happiness there is no collective wants or collective goals in, to reach something i mean a relationship you always have a goals right what do you what do you want to be i mean do you want to get married some days or you just want to move in you just want to live together or whatever that is there is always a goal and you felt like with them both of you cannot meet them eye to eye to actually decide what is the best for this relationship on the other hand so while you're doing so, there is someone who is the Queen of Wands, someone who is very much of a go-getter, someone who is present in your life, and I'm talking about the uh, past, passing, someone who is very, very present in your life, who is physically, I'm not saying that they're physically attractive, but there is a sensual and sexual attributes to them that makes you feel interested in them. It's, it's either the way they touch you, it's either the way they F you, it's either the way they, you know, Queen of Wands is very, very good in boosting up your ego, they breathe in like a lot of confidence in you, that makes you interested in them and that makes you want to work things out with them. I feel like your light, your spotlight was shining so brightly at them as well. 
Okay, so the past person who cannot stop thinking about you, who you were so disappointed in the past, they're kind of like getting out of a period of mental prison because they felt like, you know, when they couldn't stop thinking about you, they're mentally prisoning themselves in those thoughts. So every time they want to kind of like reach out to you or every time they want to make advances for you, their thoughts keeps on like blocking them to not to. Every time they try to be emotionally vulnerable, their thoughts will keep blocking them to not to. Uh, usually why people do this is because it's like their self-defense mechanism. Everybody, regardless of the sign, have a problem when it comes to being emotionally vulnerable. It's either you get shy, it's like a fear of being rejected and everything like that. And I feel like with that six of wands as your overall challenge, I feel like it's much more of their pride that is stopping them from doing so. And, and their stubbornness as well. And their pride and their stubbornness makes them feel mentally entrapped by themselves. So it's not like you guys... Um, doing it on purpose by mentally presenting them in the care, but it's like them doing it to themselves, okay? Be careful with this one, um, Aquarius. I was going to say Scorpio because, because we're now in Jupiter, in the last degree of Jupiter in Scorpio. And I don't know if you realize it or not, but karmas are paid in an instant. Dirty laundries are being exposed in public. And you don't want to be the person who instills justice if that makes sense. So no revenge. They are already were tortured enough in the process of trying to forget about you because they just couldn't. They were already being mentally present anyway. So please, no, no try to instill justice. No more, you know, I'm not saying that you guys are being mean or you guys are being vengeful or petty or whatever that is. Just be, you know, you guys are now the queen of cups. Scorpios are, I feel like the Jupiter and Scorpio you know, every time I do good things, 1,000 good things will happen to me. And I feel like that's, that is what you want in your life. So if they come to you and they are still depressed, just be nice to them. I mean, you don't want them, but it's fine. Just be nice to them. Just be like a little bit nice to them. However, the person who you were very, very attracted to in the past, and now, you know, you guys in the past were like the magician. You try to make things work with them. You try to charm them. You try to... Yeah, you try to charm them, you, have, you do believe that you have all resources in order to make a relationship happen with this Queen of Wands. Now that you guys are being the King of Cups, meaning that you're being emotionally open towards them, they became the hangman in reverse. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it's a very, very different energy, um, Aquarius. It's weird, because... I have Venus in Aquarius, and I know that Aquarius people are being stereotyped as someone who take things really, really slow. But when you guys get hit in the feels, it's very, very hard. I mean, you don't really show it, but you know, you feel it. I have Venus in Aquarius, I feel you, okay? <laughs> I feel you. But you're dealing with someone. Try to make sure that you're on the same page with them, though, because I feel like there's some certain things that you're not on the same page with. They want to take things slow in a way that they want to get to know you first. But the best part about it is that they are progressing from the Queen of Wands into becoming the Queen of Pentacles, meaning that they're already kind of like quite settling. In the future, they were very, very charming. They exude this really, really sensual and sexual attribute to them. In the now, they are much more present, like, okay, you know what? I feel like I see you as a potential Aquarius, but I would like to get to know you better. And I feel like you guys are now very, very much open up and there is like a series of communications going here and there, going here and there, that is very, very good. Yeah, try to make sure that you guys are on the same page together with this person, though, because I feel like if you're a cross watcher, you do know you need to know that for an Aquarius, having them to be emotionally vulnerable towards you, emotionally available for you, having them kind of like stick in this place, listening to you, is a big deal. So that's for Mark. It's already a big deal. Like you need to know the mental process that it took them to get to that place. Okay, it's already is a big deal and you as an Aquarius, you need to kind of like make sure that you guys are on the same page. Why? Because 
Yeah, there's like a lot of differences in here. I mean, this person is not really combative in a way that they're willing to kind of like lower down their weapons. They still want to get to know you in some ways and they cannot move on from you too. Okay, but I feel like in the future, you guys are going to go back into your cerebral self with this Queen of Swords here. If you're dealing with a new person, try not to see the new person in a lens that you were seeing your ex. I mean, if your ex kind of like hurt you, don't, don't then assume that the new person that you're dealing with is going to hurt you too. Okay? Don't be too cold because the love is there. I mean, with the lover's card in here, it, it's been blessed. And your energy is fantastic right now. If you kind of like keep, keep, keep this up, you actually are able to manifest like a lot of things. Okay? So, they can stop thinking about you. I mean, like they try to walk away from you in their brain like they try to get you out of their brain out of their brain they couldn't they try to get you out of their heart they couldn't okay so in the end they're going to kind of like lower down their weapon they're going to kind of like lower down their weapon and try to work things out with you but then although the love is there you know you guys are going to be quite skeptical about it let's see advice one card yeah, you have the Three of Cups in here. Try to get to know them, you know, instead of, instead of assuming things, instead of being cerebral, you know. You don't want to be the person that they were before, that they were being mentally entrapped. They create things inside of their head and stuff like that, right? You don't want to be that person. So instead of doing so, you have the Three of Cups energy here, especially with the Two of Cups. That is what they want. They just want to take things slow by, by a little bit more time so that you can develop a friendship aspect of a relationship first before you guys develop other part of the relationship, if that makes sense. Before you get down to a very, very serious and heavy, heavy emotional stuff, they want to be friends with you. And actually, as an Aquarius, you know, I mean, as a Venus and Aquarius, I feel like I kind of resonate with it because the ideal relationship for you guys in Aquarius is like where the friendship aspect is strong, and then the loving aspect is strong. So it's a balance in there. And that's exactly what you want. Don't, because you guys are being emotionally available right now and you try to force them into being on the same page as you. I mean, they're on the same page. Actually, they are more than you because they're already thinking of the long-term future with you. But pentacles or earthy things are very, very slow. You know, and it will t take quite some time. So be a little bit patient. Just try to get to know them because it's safe. I mean, like they couldn't, they just couldn't stop thinking about you. They just couldn't stop feeling for you. For real. And if you're dealing with two person as asshole as it may sound, but you have the three of cups. So it's like, we'll go ahead and try to be not too cerebral, not to be too judgmental and try to get to know them better. You know, I know it's like an asshole advice coming from a tarot reader, but <laughs> that's it. That's the three of cups here. It's, it's just chill. Chill, of course. Just chill, okay? So I really hope that you guys enjoy my reading. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.